Anticoagulants, aka blood thinners, are medications that prevent the blood from clotting and prevent existing clots from growing by interrupting different parts of the clotting cascade. As a nursing student, there are a few different types of anticoagulants you'll definitely need to know. Unfractionated heparin works by inactivating thrombin and factor 10A. This is used for short-term therapy and is only given either by sub-Q injection or IV. Two important labs to monitor here are the APTT and platelets. The APTT measures how long the blood takes to clot and is monitored monitored frequently in patients receiving it as an IV infusion. And platelets are monitored to ensure the patient doesn't develop a condition called heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, or HIT, which is a significant decrease in platelets seen in some patients receiving heparin. Lovenox is a low molecular weight heparin, meaning it has smaller, more refined molecules than heparin, primarily acting on factor 10A. This is only given sub-Q and patients can go home on it because its effects are more predictable than regular heparin. But important to note is it's cleared by the kidneys, so dosing needs to be adjusted in patients with renal impairment. Important side effects to watch for in any anticoagulant use is bleeding, such as oozing from IV sites, bleeding gums, nosebleeds, and hematuria or melena. In the case of a heparin overdose, the antidote, aka reversal agent, is protamine sulfate, which works by neutralizing the charge of the heparin molecules. Comment below if you'd like to learn about the other types of anticoagulants and check out the full study sheet in the Nursing School Success Bundle.